Okay, go. I'm recording. We going? Okay, so the last time I saw you, we 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 opened this up. Uh, this shark baby seal. Hey. How you doing? Okay. Good to see you. Me too. So we've actually we're, Gonzo and I made a little house call because you had a lot of things transpire since we saw you last. Right. And there are a lot of fans on YouTube who are commenting that you know let us know what's going on. We're praying for her, and oh, we just you. they just couldn't believe the things that didn't get done when you were in the hospital. Okay. So. So tell us what has happened since we saw you last. Well, let's see. You want me to do a little narrative for him here? Okay. Yeah? Look at that. See, this was, uh, I Friday guess. Friday morning? Let's see, what's the date on? May the 9th. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was. Look at that. Can you see? At home. Mm-hmm. Oh, that wow. was uh That was after the operation? No. No, no. That was before. That was wound care. Yeah. You'd been to wound care, and mm -hmm. they took off. They removed the uh, the dead skin, right? Yes. Yes. I got it. And then that is... There's see. another picture. Yeah. Oh, wow. And that was... When was that one? Okay, now that's still at wound care. That's mm -hmm. after they had put the silver nitrate mm -hmm. patches on there, and they, they put the, um, mm -hmm. the vac on, but it didn't do it good because it had that stuff. That's Friday. Now that's after surgery. Okay, so at some point... One of the surgeons at the wound care group, am I right? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the they said, "Look, we got to take you to the operating room because we need to we need to really debride this. Back we really need to." Exactly. All right, and this is what it looked like after. Right after surgery. Right after surgery. Looks like yeah. chili meat. It kind of uh, does. It does. It yeah. Actually, looks like marinara got, sauce to me. Yeah, that's, like pasta sauce. That should be today. Yeah. Okay. This, this is, is how today. it looks today. And this is awesome. how it looks today without the wound vac. So you have a wound vac on here and what it's doing is it's basically just helping suck all the juices out of it yep. and keep, keep a vacuum on it because that helps it heal faster. That's right. awesome. Is it hurting much? No, only when they put it on because they have to push, press down real mm -hmm. hard to get mm -hmm. it flat. Mm -hmm. um, the measurement is decreased yeah, by four centimeters. Right. Four tenths of a centimeter. It looks like that's, that's some good. real good tissue that's yeah. coming yeah. in. Yeah. How he about... cut that shark tooth thing looking. Mm -hmm. He cut right. that out. Cut the cup. Just that's made okay. that straight. I think that that's what they needed to do sure. in the first place was to take you to the operating room. They didn't room. want to do that's it. That's what I no. told him. That's no. No. And that's why we had you went to a different place with it and we got you a different surgeon. How about um, the hospital reps? Did they call you? Did they talk with you? At uh, Methodist? Or... No. The other place. Other place. No. 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 Okay. We had no intervention. Right. There. Okay. Because the wound care center is affiliated with a different hospital, yeah. right? not the same one that sent you home without doing right. anything. Okay. Right. All right. All right. Well, that was our concern. Was that in you, fact, we wanted? We, 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 you know, we mm -hmm. had to go to wound care mm -hmm. and yep. on Friday because you wanted. That's okay. I'll bleep it out. <laughs> Look at that. Edit. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway. Yeah. So we were in there and. The primary care physician was in there, right, right, in in the uh, wound care place, and we told her, said, well, you know, right, the reason we came here in the first place was to have surgery done to remove all the dead tissue, mm -hmm. and it just didn't said, happen. You know, yeah. All we've gotten done is uh, you know four days at the hospital with nothing but antibiotics, right. Oh, that and, was miserable. And well, so she promptly left. That, that was, was it. it. Yeah, that was it. Well, so just so you know. Um, after I called you on Friday, I wasn't as worried because you told me that they did take yeah. you to the operating yeah. room. And so I knew that needed to be done. But uh, I'm glad that this is healing very well and you're clearly on the road to recovery. And yeah. maybe when this is all done and next time you're in the office and it's all healed, we can yeah. get a picture of what it looks like all healed. I told him, um, he said, well, at some later date, we may need to grab some skin from your hip. And I said, I don't have any extra hip skin. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll share some of my skin with you. No, no, no. I, I got plenty. He said, I, I like his style. But he, got was, he was he was excellent. We were really pleased. With Good. Him. Very Good. very professional. Wonderful. But you're not having pain. Not really, except when they first put the vacuum on. Well, just when they yeah. mash the the mm -hmm. the uh, foam is this thick. Right. Okay. So it and they push sucks it down into in that. There, well, yeah. they first they push it down to put the mm -hmm. the plastic around it mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. anybody that has this mm -hmm. and. Um, then when you turn the pump on, it sucks the rest of it out. Mm -hmm. This is where they did the the uh, stitches. Right. Or just the running stitches that didn't do right. much of anything. Right. So. Okay. But when they put the, I know you know, when they put the wound vac on, mm -hmm. it's 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 sealed. Mm -hmm. They cut a little hole there, and then they put the tube and another patch on top. 
Gotcha. And that's when gotcha. you turn the machine on and that pulls it all down. Well, it just looks so much better. Those pictures that you showed us, that's really encouraging. Yeah. So, Tell everybody we, thanks. Well, we but will. I feel sorry for all the people that don't get help. Well, I don't know why you didn't get the help that you should have gotten when you were in the hospital, but the fact that you're on the way to recovery now is, yeah. is really gratifying. And that, that is the most important thing, isn't there it? There you yeah. go. Yeah. Well, well, you got help. That's all that matters. Yeah. I was sad well, I wasn't there. Uh, everybody. I was sad I wasn't there to watch the... Get ahead of him to get all that jelly out. The clock removal. Oh, you would have loved it. They, they were so sweet. Of course, I was out. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody there was really nice. Awesome. Well, thanks again for sharing with us and for all our fans thanks and everything. And all your prayers are appreciated. Thank yeah, you very definitely. much. Thank you for coming by. You're welcome. Bye. Stay tuned for the Meta Seven video. All right, we're gonna we're gonna be live, and you. So um, you're gonna tell me about Meta Seven, but but tell us how you were feeling before you started Meta Seven. Six months ago, I was doing well in terms of rehabbing from my stroke, but my energy level was low and it was very frustrating. I would mm -hmm. spend three or four hours a day just sitting on the couch because I didn't have the energy to right. do anything. would right. take naps and I could get things done in small bursts. Now I haven't taken a nap in six months. I haven't, uh, I'm, I go to bed at nine, wake up at four, I'm working a new job, substitute teaching. I'm on my feet all day. I'm working in the backyard doing uh, physical labor. My wife won't let me use an electric chainsaw, so I'm having to cut everything by hand. And uh, I just don't, anytime I sit down on the couch for five minutes, it's like, okay, I gotta get up and do something. You don't wanna sit around. You don't feel lazy. You don't feel tired uh, anymore. No. All that's gone. And do you feel shaky, jittery, nervous, anything like that on the no, night? I haven't seven? noticed any of that. All right. What I've noticed is that I'm, I had a stroke in June, and I'm back to pre-stroke activity level. That's fantastic. Now, probably some of that we can attribute to the fact that the stroke has healed some. Sure. But what we were really focused on before was you were just dealing with this profound oh. fatigue, and when you started the Meta 7, that reversed almost immediately. Yeah, and the fatigue was debilitating. I mean, it was like I couldn't just sit there and work on my computer. I mean, mm -hmm. I had to sit on the couch and watch TV and do nothing. Fantastic. And I'm now uh, that's all that's all overcome. Fantastic. Thanks for sharing with us. Yeah, you bet. They're going back in the bushes. Yeah, they are. Well, you'd think they learned from the other chickens where to go. Well, they're scared of the big chickens. Ah, well, that's why they don't want to go in. <laughs> 